This is Chris 6 News at 6. As we reported last week, the Port of Corpus Christi is moving forward in the permitting process for a desalination plant on Harbor Island. That's near Port Aransas. Now, the proposed plant's water intake pipes would be offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. Brine and outflow would be discharged into the ship channel. Now, it's that part of the plan that has uh, become a major concern for a local environmental group, and they shared that concern today with our Ashley Portillo. Members of the Port Aransas Conservancy believe building the plant is not in the town's best interest. Well, my concerns is that it's the absolute wrong thing to do. Now, Port Aransas residents fear that a plant this size built on Harbor Island could be harmful to the fish and the waterways too. Initially, researchers at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute were worried about the placement of the water intake pipes in the ship channel. Some very important fish species all have to come right through that pass, so it really wasn't an ideal spot for, for a large volume intake of seawater. In January, the port said those intake pipes would be moved offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. However, environmental groups say the discharge of brine into the channel could still have devastating impacts. It would be detrimental. It could kill off the fishery. And it's what this, this town relies on. Pratt says there could also be an impact on the environment and air quality. It's going to be loud. You'll have noise pollution. We'll have light pollution. I mean, we won't have dark skies, that's for sure. But now, Institute researchers continue their studies about how the plant's water is released in the area and Pratt says the proposal is still a concern for a town whose tourism is a large part of their economy. This is a fishing town. This is an ecotourism town. And if we destroy the environment, we're toast. Ashley Portillo, Chris 6 News. Now, by the way, a discussion on the proposed desal plant is on the agenda for tomorrow's Port Commissioner's meeting. If you're interested, it gets underway at 9 a.m. over at the Ortiz Center.